Once you have the JDK and Apache installed, now we're going to look at how to actually run a program. So I'm going to double click the Apache NetBeans. And NetBeans is the application you're actually going to run every time. Uh, the JDK is just so that NetBeans functions properly. So once you're in NetBeans, this is super important. You're always going to go to New Project. And you need to click on Java with ANT and Java Application. If you choose any of the other options, it's not going to uh, create a Java uh, project uh, that'll, that'll make sense to you. Uh, so really all my instructions are based on Java with ANT, Java Application, Next. I'm just going to call this Java application. It's going to default. I'm going to leave the default directory alone. It's going to put it into documents slash NetBeans projects. You don't need to change any of the other options. Hit finish. Just take a couple seconds here to process. This right here is the outline of your program. I'm going to make this full screen. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Apparently, we'll be zooming in. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, run this. Now you can click this run button right here. You can also go to the run menu and right next to run project it says F6. So you can just press F6 on your keyboard is the fast way to run it. Now there was not much output because our program didn't have any actual statements inside of it. So I'm gonna put a print statement in. This is a shortcut in NetBeans for print. S O U T tab. Just going to write hello and then I'm going to push F6 again and you're going to see down here that it printed out hello. So that's your first uh, program right there and when you're done you can close this up. Uh, and I have my, let's see, documents right here. NetBeans Projects is the folder it just created and you're going to see a Java application. This right here is that project that we just were looking at. Uh, when you turn this in, you're going to zip this directory, uh, which I'll show in another video, but I just want to show you what's inside of this. The actual Java code you wrote is in SRC, Java application. This is the actual Java file that you saw on the screen, the text file. And so I'm going to go back up a couple directories. And so this is the project folder right here.